Hello fellow retro gamers, last week Launchbox released version 13.14 to help streamline your journey from launch to playtime. Forget complex setups, with automatic emulator downloads, intuitive features like dependency file management and an enhancement to our advanced search, you'll look past the tedious setup and move straight into gaming bliss. Let's download Launchbox first. Go to Launchbox website and enter your email address. For Retrobat, go to retrobat.org. Click Download Retrobat then Download Now. Click Download Now again. You can donate any amount you like to support developers or click No Thanks, just take me to the downloads if you already donated. Download the latest version. For Retro Arch, click Get Retro Arch. Click Download Stable. Let's see how it fares to other auto setup emulators like Retro Bat and Retro Arch. Run Retro Arch Win 64 Setup. Click I Agree. Click Next. Set your application path. Click Next, check Direct X 9.0C Runtime. Click Next then Install. Click I accept the agreement. Click Next. Uncheck Install the Bing Bar option. Click Next then Finish twice to end the setup. Go to the RetroArch folder. Run RetroArch.exe. Click Load Core. Click Download a Core. Find Nintendo GameCube Wii Dolphin Core. Click on it to download the core. Go back and click Load Content. Find the GameCube file and click on it to load the emulator. Nintendo. Time from installation to play a GameCube game is 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Run Retrobat Win64 Setup. Click OK. Click Next. Click I accept the agreement. Click Next. Set your application path then click next three times then install.
Click Finish to end the setup. Go to Retrobat folder. Copy and paste the GameCube game to ROMs folder of Retrobat. Put inside GameCube folder. Run Retrobat.exe Click GameCube and click on the game. Click Yes to install the Dolphin emulator. Time from installation to play a GameCube game is 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Run Launchbox 13.14 Setup. Click OK. Click I accept the agreement then Next. Set your application path. Click Next and Install. Follow the prompt to end setup. Once LaunchBox loads click Tools then import ROM files to open a new window setup. Click Next then Add Folder. Find your game folder and click Select Folder. Click Next and choose GameCube as your platform. Click Next. Click Install Dolphin. Click Use the file in their current location. Click Next four times and finish to end the setup. Wait for local metadata refresh from database and emulator download. Once finished, right-click the game and play. Nintendo.
Time from installation to play a GameCube game is 3 minutes and 51 seconds. For PS2, prepare the BIOS file. Go to RetroArch System folder. Create a PCSX2 folder. Inside PCSX2 folder, create a BIOS folder. Move the PS2 BIOS file inside. Go back to RetroArch main folder. Run RetroArch.exe. Click Load Core then download a core. Find Sony PlayStation 2, LRPS2 core. Click to download it. Go back and click load content. Locate the game file and click on it to load the game. Time to set up and play a PS2 game is 1 minute and 38 seconds. Go to Retrobat BIOS folder. Go to PCSX2 folder, then inside BIOS folder, move the PS2 BIOS file inside. Copy the game file to PS2 folder inside ROMs folder. Go back to Retrobat main folder and run Retrobat.exe. Go to PS2 menu and load the PS2 game. Time to set up and play a PS2 game is 1 minute and 42 seconds. I would say almost same as RetroArch since memory card setup was taken in Retrobat. Go to Launchbox main folder and run launchbox.exe. Once Launchbox loads click Tools then import ROM files to open a new window setup. Click Next. Click Add Files and locate your PS2 game. Click Next and choose Sony PlayStation 2 as your platform. Click Next. Click Install PCSX2. Since I am using 39001 as BIOS file, locate the same BIOS file name and rename your BIOS file.
Match the BIOS file name. Create a BIOS folder and move the renamed BIOS file. Go back to the import wizard setup and click browse. Locate the BIOS folder and click select folder. Click next. Click use the file in their current location. Click next four times and finish to end the setup. Wait for local metadata refresh from database and emulator download. Once PCSX2 loaded, click Next. Click the PS2 BIOS file then Next. Click Add and locate your PS2 game folder. Click Select Folder in Yes. Click Next and Finish. Go to Sony PlayStation 2 platform and right-click on the PS2 game and click Play. Time to set up and play a PS2 game is 2 minutes and 53 seconds.